Well, hey everybody, it's your good buddy 650 Eve here. Welcome back to the channel in today's episode of the new bike build series. Zach, the master mechanic, is finally going to tie in our rear braking system on our 2023 BMW S1000 RR to the front Brembo braking system by installing an awesome Brembo rear caliper and an underslung mounting system sent to us by the one and only Miami Manny at Moto Million. This is gonna make that bike stop better and actually look a million times better than it did stop. So once we're done building up this motorcycle by adding more and more Moto Million parts onto it, we're gonna offer it to one of you fantastic people viewing these videos, information on how you can possibly win our 2023 S1000 RR, always the first link in the description of my videos. Zach, you got a perfect setup there. Yeah, what's going on? So we got our black and red caliper in and it looks pretty spectacular. Yes, it does. It does. Not quite as cool as a nickel plated one, but same features as a nickel plated one. It's just anodized black and it matches our front. That's why you wanted this one. Ah, uh, yes. And why we waited. Indeed. Perfect match. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, we've done it before, but we can go through the steps again on how you mount it. And since we've been weighing everything, I figured we'd weigh this caliper and bracket and we'll weigh the stock one just to see what's different. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and start with that. What Zach, you're looking at just two pounds. Two pounds. All right, I'm going to write that down because we never remember. Brembo is two pounds. Okay. Stock setup's about the same, so I, I would say it's probably gonna be three pounds, maybe. Okay. Would be a guess. Good guess. And uh, we also got an MM Racing rotor we, that we always use. Oh, yes. So we'll get, we'll have to pull the wheel off. Nice. And yeah, that's the stock rotor, so it should fit. So uh, let's go ahead and get that on there, and then we have to drain the brake system just like we did in the front, and we'll have to hook up a new brake line because the brake line needs to be a lot longer to get to that caliper. So I'll show you, there's one modification we gotta make to the top of this ABS box to get that brake line to work. Okay. Because they still don't have the bend like factory, I don't know why. Yeah. But you'd think that'd be an easy thing to do, but it's been like <laughs> three years since right. we started this. But uh, all right, so let's get the wheel off and get that rotor on. All right, so we got our brake system sumped or completely drained out. Uh, that way we can pull the brake line because we're going to take it off all the way and uh, not get fluid everywhere. So I got my pit bull stand out with the little wheel jack on it, which is perfect for doing a job like changing a rotor. It almost makes it like a quick change axle setup. So I can just roll this out of here. And they have improved stock on the 23, the length of this brake cable. So it's easier to get the caliper out. That looks good. That was a pretty good act before to get that out of there. So we got our wheel off and now we can get our rotor changed. And since I'm using the same tire, it'll be awesome. I can just wheel it right back in because it's yeah. the same height. So this is a great job for that jack. If you have a pit bull stand, something to look into. They come in handy. We doing some more weighing? Yeah, might as well. Since we got the scale out, let's see what this lightweight rotor is really all about. Stockers bouncing around just shy of two pounds. Yep. 1.9? 1.9. 1.9. M&M Racing. Straight from Canada. Oh, it feels lighter. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. 1.25? Yep. Is that that first line there? Yep, first line, yep. All right, so we'll give it 1.25. So Point, it's lighter. 0. 0.7. Yeah. I've never noticed a braking deficiency with this rotor, but some people claim that it doesn't lock the wheel like it used to. I can still lock the wheel. I don't yeah. know. I've never noticed like a great performance drop. I mean, obviously there's less surface area. When you have more surface area, you will get better braking. A lot of people don't use their rear brake a lot anyway, so right. it's not that big a deal, but I don't know. I could still lock, I can still take it out and lock the rear wheel quite easily. Just clean off any uh, shipping oil. We don't want that on the rotor. So always want to clean them off with brake cleaner and a rag and then some air. All right, so we got our stock up there. 2.5, I think I was guessing three. Yep, 2.5. Al's back there making a ruckus. So a half a pound lighter 
And we get the benefit of having the center of mass a little bit lower yes. and closer to where all the mass is on the motorcycle. Okay. And makes it for even easier tire changes. So that's all benefits of switching to this. And to, to do this, it's sold at, uh, Manny actually sells this as a kit now. It's pretty nice. You get nice. the You get the bracket, you get the caliper, it comes with mount bolts. You can upgrade to pro tie if you want. Yeah. And it comes with the brake hose that you need. Nice. So pretty cool stuff. So then our brake line goes up to the ABS box. We're gonna pop it off the ABS box. And I'll probably have to drop the bike down actually to make this one little modification real quick. Okay, so here's our replacement friend tubo uh, steel braided line. You can tell it's not the carbon fiber one. It's just stainless steel, uh, but for some reason they don't match this factory bend and you can't use this little cutout on the ABS box here. So I just take a bolt and it doesn't even have to be the perfect thread match just so you plug this hole up with something. So you can see we've got that plug there and I'm just gonna grind away this plastic so that our brake line fits. So now you can see it's nice and flat and our brake line should, wherever it disappeared to, there it is. Now it fits oh, yeah. right over top of it. So we just use the stock bolt that we took out with some new crush washers on them. And from what I've seen, BMW torques all these banjo fittings to 24 newton meters, which is actually pretty, pretty tight. Like I thought I had it tight enough before yeah. already. It's pretty crazy how tight they have you make those. So now that we're good here, we can put the bike up in the air and get our caliper on and get that line hooked up. And this thing is coming along great, man. These small things add up to make the bike look amazing. I know it is weird. I feel like we've done lots of little short videos, which we like to do because then you don't have to pay attention for so long. Yeah. But uh, it really changes the way the bike looks. Yeah. Uh, I still, this is the best way I have found to route this brake hose. If you find a better way, let me know, I guess. So with factory M bike, it comes down through here, but I don't, I wanna keep it away from the tire as much as possible. And by doing this, I can. I just use one zip tie. I'll just zip tie it back here. Okay. And then everything stays clear of the wheel. Okay, so our brake hose is now installed. Our caliper's installed, the axle's installed. Everything spins. So now we just gotta make the brakes work again. We showed you what was happening in the last video. If you didn't watch it, go check that out. Well, it wasn't the last video, it might be a couple back, but it's yeah. pretty cool. We set up a little braking system and showed how the hydraulic fluid is moving the piston and the brakes and how it works. Because right now, there, all there is is air. You can see we got nothing. Yes. So we need to add fluid in and get rid of all the air. All right, I got it all bled out. I think we're just about ready for the final product. It stops. That's good. Doesn't sound like anything's hitting, except for when we want it to. Yep. So I think these are all, well, I know these are all good things. We can get our exhaust back on and take it for a test ride. How was your ride? Back. Successful test ride. I yes. uh, just wanted to check real quick, make sure we don't see any drips. We don't. Nothing dripping from under the seat. Our brake fluid level stayed right where I set it at. Mm -hmm. And uh, none of our hoses or cables are rubbing on anything that spins or too close to the exhaust. That's the biggest things you want to watch out for if you're doing an install like this. Just make sure that line is away from, it's going to stay put. And then uh, also double checked our wheel speed sensor function, cruise control worked, hill assist mm -hmm. still works. 
Perfect. So it uh, didn't seem to squeak and had uh, some decent rear brake pressure to it. So Nice. I'd say it's successful and matches the front awesome. And Absolutely. Once again, the bike has changed the way it looks and it just keeps looking better and better. Yeah, man. Yeah, we just got to get some more carbon going on this thing and uh, probably lose those mirrors, huh? Yes, yes, that's next on our list. But yeah, it's a, it runs really well too. Oh man, Super thanks. happy with how it runs. Yeah, with the Bren tuning and everything? Yeah. Absolutely. It really feels a lot closer to M bike. It, oh wow. Than the previous gen for sure. Yeah. I mean, it has a lot of the parts from it now, you know? Yes, it does. Just short of the connecting rods. Yeah. But uh, cool, thanks for uh, tuning in guys and we'll catch you next time when we install some more cool stuff. Thank you, Zach. Thank you for all your hard work, man. You're welcome. It's awesome. All right, enjoy. Yep. All right, guys. Oh, somebody almost got clobbered out there by a semi tractor trailer. But look, this bike looks amazing. It's beautiful now with the beautiful matching Brembo caliper and the underslung braking system that the master mechanic just installed. There's plenty of time for you to join our patron family and perhaps ride away on this beautiful motorcycle. Information how to do that, first link in the description of this video. All right, folks, thanks so much for viewing. Look at that freaking exhaust. Look how it's changing those magnificent colors, guys. This bike is just absolutely beautiful <laughs> in so many ways. So many ways. Wow. And it just keeps getting better and better. Okay, folks, I can stand out here all day admiring this bike, but I gotta get going. We'll catch you next time on the 650EV YouTube channel.